hi welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson i am going to show you arithmetic instructions into our microcontrollers this type of instructions implement addition and subtraction of a 32 bit signed and unsigned values the syntax of this type of instructions are as follows if we see here let's say right for the syntax of this type of instruction each instruction and then if we have a complementary condition and then we have a complementary suffix s and then destination register and after that we have source registers so there are two source registers this can be also written like this rd rn and n so this n could be the register or value right so here if you notice the condition and this suffix are optional this condition can be applied into r mode this does not support into the thumb mode and this s if you see this s updates status flag register this updates status flag register so the moreover you can say there will be instruction then condition and suffix and after that the destination register and to source register now let's take a few arithmetic instructions such as we can take adc adc is add with carry and in adc if we say here rd rn and n this says that rd is equal to rn plus n plus carry and if we say here add rd and rn then this says that rd is equal to rn plus capital n and the similarly if we see here rsb that is the reverse subtract so this is known as a reverse subtract in a reverse subtract rd will be n minus rn and if you notice here in a normal subtract in a normal subtract let's say sub in a normal subtract sub rd rn and n here rd will be rn minus n so this is very important to notice here is reverse subtract subtract the digit subtract the two register in reverse order and apart from this we have a reverse subtract with carry also so if we extend this instruction then we have another instruction which is known as rsc that is the reverse subtract with carry so if we have rsc rd and rn and n so in this case it will place the value of n minus rn minus carry flag 
ओके तो माइनस नॉट ऑफ कैरी फ्लैग ओके सो इफ कैरी फ्लैग इज जीरो देन इट विल सब्सट्रैक्ट वन अदरवाइज इफ कैरी फ्लैग इज वन देन इट विल सब्सट्रैक्ट देयर जीरो एंड इन द सेम वे we have us subtract with the carry that is known as a sbc if we see sbc rd and n so this says that rd is equal to rn minus capital n minus carry flag right so here if you notice we have discussed here six in type of instruction set so here we have adc then we have add then we have reverse subtract then we have reverse subtract with carry then we have a subtract and we have here subtract with carry right now we are going to understand this with an example so let's take an example in example what i am going to do i am going to place 0 into r0 that 0x00 and then there 8 times 0 and then we have r1 and the r1 has 0x 4 time of the 0 and 3 times 0 and the 2 then we have here r2 the r2 has 4 times 0 and 3 times 0 and 1 then i'm telling you to solve this expression subtract r0 r1 and r2 so in this case you will get r0 is equal to r1 minus r2 and that will be 0x 4 times 0 and then 3 times 0 and 1 so this is the final value into r0 right so in the same way if we solve another question let's say with reverse subtract with reverse subtract i'm going to take r0 is equal to 0x 0 0 and r1 is equal to 0x 007 and then the instruction is r s b r0 r1 and has 0 in this case as we know r0 is equal to this is reverse subtract then it will be the 0 minus r1 so the one complement one's complement of 000007 each here that is minus r1 and in a signed integer form in a signed number we can represent it as 0x 4 time f double f and 8 9 so that is r0 in case of a reverse subtract now another instruction which we are going to take here for an example 
that is normal subtract instruction normal subtract but this time we are going to add suffix s and once we add that suffix s then it will update a program status register so that means we are going to take another instruction subtract s okay so if you notice that this s here this s will update status register okay so once it updates the flag of status register and after that we can perform a conditional statement according to the status of the flag register now we need to also understand into the CPSR let's say here CPSR the upper 4 bit into CPSR is that's for negative 0 carry and overflow okay so let's say initially every uh, the value is 0 0 here in the CPSR but after this operation let's say we have here subtract s sub s we have r1 r1 and has 1 and pre value r1 we have 0x 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 right so if you notice here is that this is just 1 and after this subtract r1 will be r1 minus 1 that will be 0x 0 0 0, 0 0 0 0 0 so in this case what will happen in this case it will raise the flag of 0 and flag of carry ok so the after the execution we can say here post execution this will be 0 this will be 1 this will be 1 and this will be 0 and the mode of the processor will not change it will be into a same mode let's say if it was into a user mode then it will be into a user mode so this is all in this video in this video we have discussed six different type of uh, arithmetic instruction we had also discussed how to update the program status register by adding s suffix into the instructions so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day